It may look out of this world, but this is no lunar landscape. Dead on the surface, it pulses beneath with thermostats, intricate plumbing, and electronic sensors. Explore the depths of the human skin, next on Body Atlas. Almost 10 pounds of our body weight is our skin. This heavy mantle has a total area of more than 20 square feet. It's only paper thin, yet our skin forms a surprisingly tough suit of armor. Skin encloses our body, protecting the vital organs within. As Kadamba swims, her outermost layer of skin acts like a personal wetsuit, keeping water out of her body. But skin is more than a protective barrier. It's a crucial part of our body's machinery. Multi-layered and multi-purpose, our skin plays an essential role in keeping us alive. Our skin is the part of us on show to the world. In all its rich variety, it can reveal our origins, our moods, our temperament, and our age. But just skin deep, there's an amazing underworld, an exquisitely intricate network of systems to keep us ticking. Through the microscope, we descend into a complex jungle of plumbing and electronics. In one square inch of your hand, you have nine feet of blood vessels, 600 pain sensors, 30 hairs, 134 yards of nerves, 36 heat sensors, 75 pressure sensors, and 9,000 nerve endings. Every minute of the day, this equipment is working to protect us from damage, to control body temperature, to alert us to danger. We are all thin-skinned. The outermost layer of skin, the epidermis, is only half as thick as a sheet of paper. At its base, skin cells continually divide and grow. New cells push their way to the surface. Here we are on the inside, looking out. As new cells reach the surface, they harden and die. The skin we see and touch is actually dead. Every day we shed 10 billion dead skin cells. That's 50 pounds in a lifetime. As a result, the epidermis is constantly replaced. Every six weeks, we get a new outer coat. Surprisingly, we shed our skin more often than a snake. 
It's hard to imagine a layer of dead cells is the only barrier that protects us from the outside world. Without it, we could drown in the rain. These outer cells overlap like roof tiles to keep water and chemicals out and body moisture in. Lose that layer and you could die as vital body fluids leak out. Our outer coat has evolved to protect us from a hostile environment. Even on a perfect summer's day, our bodies are at risk. Sunscreen blocks the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. In harsh sunlight, sunscreen is essential to reinforce the skin's built-in protection. As Kadamba lies in the sun, special cells react to sunlight by producing a brown pigment known as melanin. With a carefully controlled exposure, melanin gives her a golden tan. These are the pigment cells, the dark patches in the bottom layer of the epidermis, packed with melanin. We all have the same number of these cells, but in dark-skinned people, they are more active. The more melanin produced, the better the protection. So fair skin is more vulnerable to sunburn and skin cancer. But we can't avoid the sun altogether. Skin cells also use the energy in sunlight to manufacture vitamin D, which helps build strong bones. Our journey now takes us down to the second layer of skin, the dermis. We are entering the machine room in the world of flesh. Our supple skin enables us to bend and stretch. It's built from layers of tough, flexible fibers, collagen and elastin. Soft and supple, these layers act as shock absorbers. Their elastic properties are amazing. Pinch your skin or stretch it, and it springs back. But our flesh does more than keep us mobile. Whatever the weather, even on the most sizzling of hot days, our skin controls our body temperature. Buried in our flesh is the plumbing which stops us from boiling. Sweat glands are part of the body's thermostat mechanism. They play one of the skin's most crucial roles. Oozing out through the fingertips is a salty fluid which evaporates to keep us cool. Our sweat glands can produce two gallons of it a day. The salty residue is what makes us feel gritty after exercise. Perched on a sweaty forehead is a salt crystal magnified hundreds of times. Here's the amount of fluid you sweat off on a normal day without even noticing. Rising air currents also carry away heat from our bodies. We are all hot stuff. <laughs> 